Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to install Duck DNS on OpenMedia Vault 5. Now you may wonder why would I want to install Duck DNS? What purpose does it serve? And the answer to that is pretty simple. Everybody's internet connection uh, to their house or their place of business or, or wherever has an IP address associated with it. From there, of course, your modem and your router will distribute uh, a different set of IP addresses to all of the local devices on that network. But your your house, your place of business, whatever, will have an uh, an IP address that is that is given to you from your ISP. So it's easier to remember a domain name than it is an IP address. Also, uh, a lot of ISPs or internet service providers will periodically change the IP address of uh, your connection. So if you've got a connection like that uh, and it changes regularly, it's really difficult to remember how often it's gonna change and figure out what the new IP address is regularly. So DuckDNS will actually set up a domain name uh, or, a, or a subdomain um, on their domain name and DuckDNS in your container on Open Media Vault will periodically ping DuckDNS to update your IP address so that that way, if your IP address changes, you don't have to remember the new IP address. All you have to do is remember your domain name or the subdomain that you've got set up on duckdns.org. So in this video, I wanna show you how to set up DuckDNS on your Open Media Vault 5 server. So let's go ahead, switch angles, jump over to my desktop and take a look at how to do this. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and we're looking at the duckdns.org website. And right now I'm not logged in. Um, so the first thing we'll need to do is actually sign in. Uh, I'm gonna sign in with Google, but uh, there are multiple ways that you can sign in with all these different uh, login or sign up options up here at the top. Now, like I said, I'm gonna sign in with Google. So I'm gonna click there. Uh, and then I'm going to select an email address. And that's it. Now we are uh, signed in with our uh, email address. And right up here, you can see the account name is my email address. Uh, we're using a free account right now. We've got a token uh, generated here. Uh, and this was generated nine minutes ago because I already went through this process once. Um, but we've got our token. We've got a, a, a time when that token was generated. Uh, we can see when the account was created. That was just a few minutes ago. Um, and below that, we don't have anything. It just says domains 0 of 5, and it wants us to fill in a subdomain uh, for duckdns.org. So what I'll do is I'll just do a DB Tech uh, demo, and I'm going to click Add Domain. So here you can see that it says success domain uh, duck, uh, dbtechdemo.duckdns.org was added to your account. Below that, it's got our domain here. It's got our current IP address, which of course I'm gonna have most of it blanked out so you can't see that. Um, and you can see when it was changed. And then over here at the far right, you can delete the domain if you ever wanted to. So we're gonna need some information from here when we move into a uh, portainer. Uh, primarily, we're gonna need our subdomain, which in this case will be DB Tech Demo. And we're also gonna need the token up here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll actually come over to Portainer here. Uh, we're going to uh, create a new stack. So we'll click on Add Stack here. Uh, we'll call this DuckDNS. Um, and then over here, I'm gonna come over to hub.docker.com slash r slash slash Linux server slash DuckDNS. I'll scroll down to where it says uh, Docker Compose, and I'm just gonna grab this going to copy it and I'm going to come over here and paste this in here. Now, a lot of this is going to look familiar if you've been following along with the tutorials that I've been doing uh, for this whole process uh, or this past several videos that I've made. So uh, we're just going to change a few things in here and then we'll be pretty much good to go. So the first things that we need to change is the, uh, the user ID and the group ID. Now, if you don't know how to get those, uh, we're going to do that real quick. We're just going to come down here. We're going to click start. We're going to open up putty um, and we're just going to drag this up just like we always do. And I'm going to type in the IP address of my server. Of course, yours will be different. So uh, go ahead and type in your server address and press enter. Say yes if you get this. And then we're gonna log in as root, and I'm gonna type in my password. And then the username for uh, for my account here is actually admin. So I need the ID of that username. So I'm gonna type in ID admin, and I'll press enter. So here you can see the user ID is 998, and the group ID is 100. So I'm gonna change this to 998, and that's 100. Uh, below that is our gonna be our time zone. So I'm gonna type in America slash Denver. Uh, and of course, you'll want to change that to whatever is close to you. 
Now the subdomains, uh, this is what we just created over here at DuckDNS. So DB Tech Demo is my, dom or my, my subdomain. So I'll come back over here and I'm just gonna paste that into there. And I'm just gonna delete the rest of that because I've only got one set up. Now the next line is gonna be token. And that's actually the token up here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna paste this in here as well. Um, I'm gonna change the log file to true. It's always nice to have logs just in case something does go wrong. And then the last thing that we need to change here uh, is the path to our configuration folder for DuckDNS. So what I'll do is I'll actually come over to Open Media Vault. I'll go over here to my shared folders. And what we're looking for is the absolute path column. Now, if you don't have the absolute path, you can come across any of these, uh, these headers up here, click the little dropdown, go to columns and toggle absolute path on. So now that we've got that toggled on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click I'm gonna click inspect. Uh, again, I'm gonna drag this up and I'm gonna look for this line that's highlighted right here. And right in here, you can see that it says slash SRV slash dev disk by label uh, files slash conf config that matches there. So I'm just gonna double click in there, right click, copy, go to uh, portainer here. I'm just gonna highlight this, paste it in and I'm gonna call it uh, duck uh, DNS just like that, and we should be good to go. At that point, uh, you should be able to click on deploy the stack. Okay, so now that we're here, we should be able to come over to containers, um, click over here on the logs file for DuckDNS. Looks like everything here is running. Okay, so with that running, uh, that's it. That's all there is to installing DuckDNS. And what's cool about this is like I mentioned before, uh, if your IP address changes because your ISP uh, has leased a, an IP address to you that'll expire in a day, a week, however long, DuckDNS on your server, on your Open Media Vault server, will continue to regularly ping DuckDNS's servers to make sure that your subdomain has the newest version of your IP address. So that way you don't have to remember your IP address anymore. All you have to remember is your subdomain for DuckDNS.org. So hopefully that was a fairly easy tutorial for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this, got something out of it. Now you can hopefully access uh, some of your stuff remotely uh, via this domain name. Of course, you will probably have to do some port forwarding and that sort of thing in order to access some of your uh, some of your different containers remotely, but uh, this will make that process much, much easier. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would really help me out a bunch. And I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.